السلام علیکم جیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی لیسن پلان دیٹ واٹ از دا لیسن پلان اینڈ دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک آف پیڈاگوجی اینڈ پریکٹیک اینڈ وی ول سی دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین فارمولیٹ اے لیسن پلان ہاؤ وی کین ڈیزائن اے لیسن پلان and especially we will we will see that what are the basic component of the lesson plan and what is the importance of the lesson plan in our course of action especially when you are teacher or as instructor uh, uh, so see that what is the lesson plan basically lesson plan a uh, teacher's detailed description of the course of instruction for an individual lesson here in the lesson plan we will divide our whole lecture or our whole lesson into the different portions and then we will uh, uh, we will move our lecture or we will uh, deliver our lecture according to these uh, instruction or uh, these the guideline or the road map that we have designed so we have the different component of the lesson plan when we uh, uh, we will when we discuss or when we discuss any unit or when we deliver a lecture then we will go according to that road map that we have designed in our le- lesson plan that plan our plan is that in this uh, first of all we will discuss about this unit uh, that what this unit is what is this unit and what about the concept related to this unit uh, and then we will see that after the 10 minute or after 20 minute we will ask from the student that what they have learned so we have the different component when we move ahead you will uh, we, you will be familiar about the basic concept of the lesson plan uh, when you write or when you design a, a lesson plan you have to consider the following thing so for an instructor or for a teacher a teacher who plan for a lesson plan must consider the following while writing a lesson plan when teacher or instructor uh, formulate or design a les- plan a lesson plan then he or she should consider the following thing especially the student level of the student what kind of the level or what kind of the standard and then the content the material especially and then material especially content material these three things uh, you should consider before formulating or designing any lesson plan okay A student when we see the student mean that we have to consider the following points especially the ability and interest of the student ability and their skills and especially interest in the particular topic then the background means background of the student and then the attention spans mean that how much they can interestingly uh, attentively uh, listen this particular lecture or their attention attentively getting the main points that you are delivering to the uh delivering during your lecture it means that after the 45 minute or the 60 minutes a student get bored and they uh, lose their interest in the particular topic but when you formulate a lesson plan you have to consider these all things then ability to work definitely uh, we have to uh, uh, design the lesson plan according to our different course of instruction or different Uh, you know that uh, strategies and different planning so we have also a uh, activity for the students for instance you have to engage the student in a in, in particular activity so that they can get the main idea about this particular topic so, uh, so we have to consider that that uh, what or the performance of the student in particular group and how they can attentively participate or engage in a particular activity especially in uh, while designing a particular group or creating a group that a student should discuss this topic in the group or and then they uh, give a feedback in the class a uh, background knowledge especially the background of the particular topic means that a prior knowledge of the student then the special needs and learning what what are the special needs for the student and what 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 uh, kind of the uh, you know that um, some plan, uh, some strategies need to that uh, how i are i can deliver my lecture particularly or that how i can achieve this uh, uh, period object that i have decided before formulating 
माई प्लान इन एक्शन और इम्प्लीमेंटिंग माई प्लान इन एक्शन दैन द प्रिफ्रेंसिस एंड प्रिफ्रेंस मीन्स प्रिफ्रेंस इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन द स्टूडेंट सॉरी वी हैव डिस्कस दिस स्टूडेंट दैट हाउ वाट वाट आर द मेन यू नो दैट थिंक दैट वी हैव टू कंसिडर वेन वी थिंक अबाउट द स्टूडेंट स्पेशली दैन टू इंटरेस्ट इन दियर एबिलिटी इन द वर्किंग इन द ग्रुप एंड स्पेशली द पीरियड नॉलेज नाउ लेट सी अबाउट द कंटेंट वाट मीन बाई द कंटेंट द टीचर एंड द इंस्ट्रक्टर कंसिडर सब्जेक्ट मैटर दैट वाट और द सब्जेक्ट मैटर स्पेशली इधर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द साइंस और द बायोलॉजी और केमिस्ट्री and a different you know the component of the subject matter then the school university curriculum definitely we will see the school the uh, university curriculum the, you know the curriculum varies from school to school in the you know, university and have their different component and we have discussed that what is the curriculum especially you have you are familiar with the curriculum when we discuss about the curriculum development then the national curriculum i have also discussed about that what would, what is the national curriculum the component of the national curriculum when we talk or when we have discussed about the curriculum development in our previous lecture the standard in especially standard means the level of the student now see the material when we talk about the material mean that what mean by the material uh, when we design and the material when we collect the material we have to consider the following things especially the technology as i am using the technology or recording this particular lecture for you guys uh, i am using the slides ppt and the internet and the different software and then the teacher mentors community i mean so the resources persons they are also your materials mean that this particular person or this particular instructor very as uh, he is very you know veteran or very experienced in this particular or the community especially what community uh, the influence of the your community or the particular you know that uh, mentality of this community we have to consider these all things they are also the part of your material resources equipment li library these are also part of our material and you have to consider these all thing that we have this library or we have this equipment or we have this resources these all thing you have to uh, uh, you have to consider while uh, designing or while formulating a uh, uh, while creating a lesson plan then the resources teachers guest if for instance you have to talk about the Uh, any famous personality you have to invite a guest speaker or guest teacher who should deliver lecture on this particular person in this way you will create a variety in the class and a student will attentively learn and and, and the different uh, you know the uh, they will uh, get the different ideas from the different and uh, resources persons then the lecture definitely a lecture method or activity based these are all things you have to consider in the material now what are the basic component of the lesson plan and uh, we have to see and we have to discuss about the uh, component of the lesson plan especially first main component is profile we see the profile that what are the subjects then in the profile we see the unit and different when we again, again we will in the next slides discuss in detail profile objectives you have the objectives especially general and specific objective then the material we talk about the material especially technology and other rest of textbook these all are your material then the procedure then how you can implement it to your lesson plan into the action and how you can achieve your particular task procedure mean that how you uh, formulate how you uh, implement your whole plan in action and then the assessment assessment of the student means that uh, especially in the lesson plan you have to design a particular object of that i have this object that a student will learn these thing before implementing your lesson plan in action after implementing your lesson plan in action then you will assess the student that the student are getting this particular thing or particular idea uh, or the object that generally i have decided uh, decided 
the decided means that these object are achieved or not these all things you have to consider in the lesson plan so these are the basic component profile objective material procedure means that we will implement it in um, uh, plan in action then the assessment the assessment of the uh, student then uh, now see in the detail that what is the profile especially when we talk about the prof profile of the lesson plan I mean the title of the lesson this title particular for the uh, you know that uh, about the Shakespeare about this person about this or uh, this title of this lesson it means that this lesson particular about the biology or chemistry or the physics in this way and the contributor may continue contributor means that your resources person or the instructor or the teacher then subject what what is the subject especially i have talked about that the subject of the chemistry or biology physics or english or the social science whatsoever and the grade level of the learners especially the standard these are the first standard the second standard we see the level of the student in the profile then the instruction uh, instructional settings especially these are very much important angle of the profile you have to arrange proper these all uh, things and in, in, in a proper order then the general description of the lesson you will have to write uh, just generally discuss about this particular lesson for instance i have to teach the cell the basic unit of the life also first of all i will talk in general about that what is the cell what is the importance of the cells and what different you know that components of the cell the cell wall cell membrane whatsoever the in this way and then the standard standard also design that this is the standard of the student the same as we see in this level of the student here we see the standard of the uh, student and then we have uh, objectives objectives uh, especially in the objectives means that uh, what are the objective first we see the profile then we see the other objectives uh, that our special you know that uh, pre decided some object we have definitely in the lesson plan and we have the different in the objective we determine that what students should learn and do in the objective we will see that uh, what uh, will student learn and how they will participate in the particular activity and then focusing on the concept skills to be taught in the objective we also see that we have to design that a student will learn this particular skill from this particular unit or particular lesson moving ahead material material you all know that these are the material in the physical shape and the physical form powerpoint presentation as i am recording lecture i as i am delivering lecture through this uh, powerpoint presentation now slides uh, are displaying and then the textbook also your material your stuff and then the journal articles multimedia multimedia definitely as usual we play as we usually display our slides in the multimedia in our classes are the different you know that equipment for uh, displaying the slides or, the, or delivering the lecture then job aid checklist the checklist especially checklist that that, that we maintain a particular diary in which we have this particular uh, you know that uh, strategy or particular point that we have to teach the student the, the material means that all the uh, equipment stuff we have in the physical form then the procedure procedure means that outline the step of the teaching learning process means that we have to implement it our lesson plan first we have to decide our objective profile we have to see the profile that this is the unit we have to teach the student then we actually implemented our plan into the class instructional strategies and the lesson plan these are the component of the your procedure especially the methodology also the part of your but now assessment assessment assess as to what extent the present objective were achieved it means jo jo object humne decide kiya that kya wo object achieve hue hai ya nahi after the assessment of the student ke maine ye lesson padhaya hai 
test lesson about the cell then i have to conduct a particular test after the test i'll decide uh, after the test mujhe ye pata chalega ki jo maine padhaya hai kya wo student gain kar rahe hain ya nahi then assessment should be correlated with the pre stated object definitely jo assessment hogi na wo hum compare karenge ki before for implementing lesson plan mere paas ye object okay uh, object ye the ke that student will learn these thing after the assessment of the student you have to compare that what student get kya wo aapke objective achieve hue hai ya nahi these all thing you have to consider in the assess, assessment and reflect upon the result and revise the lesson plan as per the assessment outcome उसके बाद ही हम जो हैं अपने लेसन प्लान्स को लेसन प्लान को चेंज भी कर सकते हैं कि भाई मेरे ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ये थे आई हैव डिसाइडेड दिस प्री ऑब्जेक्ट बट आफ्टर द असेसमेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट मीन दैट आई कुडंट अचीव माय टारगेट आई कुडंट अचीव दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ आई हैव टू रीडिजाइन आर रीडिजाइन माय होल लेसन प्लान देन आई हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट इट नाउ see the model we have the different three or four model but i have to discuss one of the most important model here that is 5e models 5e model for the lesson plan if you have to design and the lesson plans mean that you have to follow this 5e model especially 5e first e means that engage engage your student attentively so interestingly student participate in your uh discussion in your debate then explore whatever you are teaching you have to explore the different dimension of the particular topic for instance i uh, i am teaching means that i have been teaching you guys uh, pedagogy so it means that i have to explain about this uh, um, uh, teaching methodology it means that i have to explore the different dimension of the teaching methodology and uh, students should see and then so uh, they then they have to search the different and various dimension of this particular topic then you have to explain this these method or these points in the class then you have to elaborate you have to analyze especially means that these particular methodology at this particular point or this particular idea is about this about this in this way or you have to elaborate in the detail you have to go in the deep you have to analyze it then you have to evaluate then you have to synthesize with your argument with your points and then you have to get the whole cream or whole concept out the particular thing this is the 5e model when you have to write or when you have to formulate when you have to design uh, lesson plans you have to consider these all things okay now how we can design how we can format a lesson plan means that how we can design especially uh, when you write uh, when you design your lesson plans you have to consider these following thing especially title of the course i have talked about that this is the course by the biology this is course for this is the course of the chemistry or the english for so ever unit unit 1 or 2 in the topic topic about this uh, cell or cell membrane or the cell wall whatsoever then we name of the teacher who the resources person and the other instructor the duration of the class especially duration is the 45 minute or 2 hours or 1 hour especially you have to see the duration of the class then the date and time on the which date on the which time you have to deliver your lecture or you have to discuss this topic then the pace is the speed of the teacher especially in which pace he is going and the student the students level student standard especially the student of the first standard second standard or the student of the ninth or eighth or matrix whatsoever method of the teaching especially lecture method activity based method whatsoever method and then the audio visual and in, in, uh, input especially you are playing or you are displaying the slides are you giving the the uh, visual input the help of the multimedia whatsoever and then the previous background of the training means that uh, the topic that you are discussing in the class means that should be familiar uh, for the student means the uh, student sh uh, should have the background about this particular a uh, topic or or you have to consider uh, the students knowledge previous knowledge about this particular topic okay then the object of the class 
ठीक जर्नल ऑब्जेक्ट स्पेसिफ ऑब्जेक्ट देन द टाइम टाइम लिमिट स्पेशली द कंटेंट द मटीरियल स्टव दीज ऑल थिंग टीचिंग लर्निंग एक्टिविटीज एंड एवोल्यूशन मीन्स दीज ओल और द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द लेसन प्लान ओके नाउ वी हैव अ मॉडल और वी हैव अ लेसन प्लान वी हैव टू सी दैट हाउ यू कैन डिज़ाइन हाउ यू कैन यू नो दैट फार्मेट अ लेसन प्लान वी हैव एग्जाम्पल सी दिस इज अवर दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लेसन प्लान इन इंग्लिश लेक्चर कम डेमोस्ट्रेशन मैथड क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द पीरियड इज फोर्टी मिनट्स एंड डेट इज ट्वेंटी एट जुलाई टॉपिक हजरत मोहम्मद हजरत हजरत मोहम्मद सल्लाम वॉज द ग्रेट रिफार्मर दिस इज द दिस इज द टॉपिक टॉपिक ओके एंड इंस्ट्रक्शनल मटीरियल इज टेक्सट बुक फिलिप चार्ट वाइट बोर्ड एंड फ्लैनल बोर्ड डिक्शनरी अदर टीचिंग मटीरियल दीज ऑल आर द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शनल मटीरियल मटीरियल आर स्टेप नाउ सी द जनरल ऑब्जेक्ट ओवर जनरल ऑब्जेक्ट इज टू टीच इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओवर आवर ऑल दीज आर जनरल ऑब्जेक्ट देन वी हैव द स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्ट In the specific object, we have to see that to make people means a student to comprehend lesson number one of the textbook. Then the second object to provide the consider considerable listening, speaking, reading practice. Then to furnish to polish pronunciation drill of some words means that how a student correctly pronounce the some words to practice. description mainly present past and future tense especially the grammatical area the this uh, present tense past tense and future tense grammatical areas these are specific these are the specific objective and to highlight the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the pristine personality means that generally talk about the holy prophet and the previous knowledge about this student will be asked what do you know about the life of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam means from these question you will assess the knowledge of the student previous knowledge of the uh, uh, student this is a just example previous okay see these are the chart in initially we will see that uh, read read out the lesson and the first initially read out the lesson loudly to the class it's a stress upon the important sentence take a change your pitch when pronouncing difficult words especially teacher and instructor read out loudly in the class means that he providing the input of the listening and he or she pronounce the difficult word Uh, and uh, the his stress or he vary his pitch this is the lesson method overall this is the activity the reading activity and the secondly he tell a student that to read silently for 5 minute after first the instructor will read out whole lesson and then he asked the student to tell uh, that you have to read out silently for the 5 minutes and note down the difficult words this is the lesson method and uh, this is the activity the silent reading by the class then we had to see this ask meaning of difficult words in the third third portion of the your means that you have the 45 minute initially you have to read uh, in the beginning you have to read out the lesson and difficult word then you ask the student they have to read it silently and then they have to collect the difficult words and then do in the third portion you you see you ask the meaning of the difficult word this is the lesson main the difficult word this is the activity of the difficult main difficult word then the console dictionary lesson main the dictionary here if we, the student are facing the problem then the vocabulary mean that they are not knowing the meaning of the different difficult word then you have to ask that they have to 
search the meaning of this particular word from the dictionary and note down the meaning of that particular difficult words then make a two groups and this is the group activity ask one group to pronounce the some words like judiciary behavior civilization religion literacy piety in this in uh, in this way uh, and ask other group to write its meaning means one group just Uh, pronounce this word and the second means that you have to divide the class in two groups see and the one group should pronounce the words and the second group brought, uh, 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 write down the meaning of these words this is the method of show charts mean that you have the different charts you give them uh, give these chart to the student and the one group and you divide the student into group one group just pronounce these difficult word and the second group will note down the meaning this is the pronunciation exercise this is the activity of the pronunciation exercise then make uh, two groups ask one group to convert the first paragraph into present tense and other into the future tense here you will see the activity of the grammar okay the one group just uh, change the paragraph paragraph into the present tense and other group will change into the future tense here also use the method will be show chart here the material is to will be the chart and here it will be the conversation of the tense here will be talk about the grammar grammar the tense the different structure of the tense in this way we will just move ahead and we have to just implement it our lesson plan in the last you will see the journal journalization the whole lesson is drawn together and summarize the student or allot are told what a reformer is and what is capable of doing who is the reformer means that in the end you will just discuss the whole concept of the lesson that who is the reformer qualities of the reformers how the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a great reformer how he uh, revolutionized how he changed the condition of the arabia then the application Uh, in the application a student uh, be asked to identify the role of the reformer society in in the generally you will ask that who is the reformer in your society you have to talk about this particular personality who changed the condition of the your society maybe from your uh, community maybe from your society but you have to talk about the quality of the uh, of that person recipe uh, means in this activity uh, uh, recapitulation means in this the student to put the question concerning lessons if none put question to the class or say the assimilation of the knowledge put question means first you have to ask the question uh, to a particular student if he is not capable to answer that question you have to ask generally to the whole class in the last home assignment in the home assignment you will assign the student will write a paragraph their own words about the conduct character and personality of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam means that you have to assign the assignment so guys this is all about the lesson plan that what is the lesson plan what is the basic component of the lesson plan these all thing we have discussed in the detail and i hope you got the main idea